Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and happy Mask Monday, Ladies and Friends Collaboration Day. Hope you guys are off to a good start on Monday. Let's get into the mask and then I have, um, you know, a little bit of Amazon to show you guys. I didn't go totally crazy. I got some practical stuff and maybe one fun thing for myself. Um, otherwise, pretty much very practical items. This is what I'm using. This is a Tony Moly sheet mask. It is the I'm uh, I don't know how you say it, Make Jolie Mask. It is a skin purifying mask. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tony Moly. Whenever I find Tony Moly packets available at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I always grab them. They're good deals if you can find them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Uh, these usually, I think, are like five bucks a sheet mask, and you can usually get like 10 for 10 bucks or so at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's a good deal. All right, it's quite wet. I think, I'm hoping I can get two uses out of this. Uh, trying really hard not to break the mask with my fingernails. My fingernails are a mess. I think I've got two or three nails I need to redo. Ugh, just broken and grown out. Okay. Nice mask. I like these. They are, they're nice. They're thick enough that they don't tear as easily as some of the other masks. They conform really nicely to the face. Ooh, this feels so good. Has a light, mild scent to it. Nothing terribly exciting. Um, I have my silicone mask I'm going to put over it. You guys, I forgot to grab the under eye masks. Uh, it's just been a long weekend. Um, I just, it's getting so late. You guys know I filmed this on Sunday night. It's so late at night already. I just decided to just go for it. Um, okay, let's get that tucked up under my little ears here we go I'm gonna get this out of the way i think i can probably use i don't know we'll see i'm gonna probably try to use that two times okay so last week was prime prime day on amazon which is two days of prime deals um there were some things i knew i needed and i waited to buy them um, until Prime Day. Some stuff wasn't on sale on Prime, so I, I haven't bought it, but I um, was looking for, you know, like something else for work. I'm always looking for decent clothes to wear to work. Um, I needed a new pair of boots for like hiking and kind of spring, summer, fall on the farm. Because um, honestly, like most of the boots I have, either I have like, I call them duck boots that are just to go like right into the mud. They are, they go almost up under your knee. So they're not anything that you're going to spend a lot of time in. You're not going to be walking miles and miles in them. They're really just for like when it's super wet on the farm. And then my really decent like boots I was hiking in the spring were winter boots and they're heavy and they're hot because they went up pretty high. And I just been looking for a good deal. My friend was like, she had suggested Merrell's, she had um, suggested Sorrell's, and they're like hundred and plus dollar boots. I didn't really want to spend that. So first thing I'm going to show you guys, I got a Prime Day deal on some waterproof hiking boots. And this is the name from what they're sold under, the brand um, under for Amazon. And you guys, these had really good reviews. And uh, they were they were really well priced. Um, I'll put the pricing information and the link to them down below. I feel like they were under sixty dollars. Um, and I only have one of the boots. I've already so I wore these. I got these and I wore them today. I like them. This is what they look like. They're supposed to be waterproof. They're leather and then um, a really nice insole. Super comfortable. This is what the lacing looks like. Um, super comfortable. Now I sized up on these because I plan on using these when we go hiking and stuff for birding. Um, and just, I've been a runner for many years, a distance runner. I know that, you know, your feet swell. So you need to give your, your feet a little bit of room. And I always try to size up. And just reading the reviews, I actually size these up another half size than I probably, like... I use it women's 10 and a half in a running shoe and I size these are an 11 because I wanted that extra room for my feet to swell but I wanted to be able to wear really good substantial socks so this is like I said the front and you can kind of see the insole in there and then the I'm really liking the tread on these it looks really good for hiking they've got decent treads on them and I like the look of the toe box, had good reports, the toe box, there's some room in here for your toes, you know, you don't get all smushed up in there because that's always a problem. So 
I just started wearing these. I wore them for about an hour today. They were so comfortable. They were actually a little hot on my feet. So <clears throat> um, maybe not the best choice for July, but they look like they're going to be really great for spring and fall when I'm not going to want to be wearing winter boots. So again, it's X Petty um, and they're, let's see what else they say. The, um, the X dry. So they're hundred percent waterproof. They're breathable. And they're windproof. Um, honestly, I'm really excited about these. Um, it looks like they sell a bunch of different types of boots on Amazon. Um, so yeah, really great start. Okay, so the next thing is super easy. This is something, it, I, it's just hair color. You guys know, like I, I've shown you this brand many times. This is just a hair color. I buy, because you can get a discount buying in packs of six. It's just a box brand. This is an organic. It's called Nature Tint. It's about as close to organic as you can get. Uh, true organic would be henna, but this is wonderful stuff. Um, company's out of Spain. This ships out of like California. So I just really good deal on it on Prime Day. So I, I bought, I've got plenty now for a while. Um, then I got for around the farm and for going out birding, hiking, etc. This is basically like a fishing hat. So it's a big wide brim hat to keep the sun off my head. And then the funny thing is like, it's got, it's got the, and these are detachable. It's got the front like face mask and you can see I've already worn it. I've worn it a bunch. The front bug face mask. And then there's a rear flap to cover your like upper body, upper back from the sun. This is more for like protecting from bugs and stuff. So I generally, it just detaches, they're snapped on. And then somewhere in there, they do have a, what I call a stampede string to keep it on in the wind. This has been fantastic. I've worn this quite a bit since it showed up. I'm um, birding. I basically used it all weekend. That's why it's dirty. It's got, um, that's my tinted sunscreen <laughs> that's on it. So love that. And I'll link all these items, you guys, down below. If you're interested in them, check them out. Um, they're affiliate links, but you guys, it costs you nothing. And it's a great way to support the channel if you do use those. So I appreciate that. Okay, I got a couple more items. Um, I got two items that haven't arrived yet. And they're just, I bought a bird bath and a new bird bath because one of my old bird baths developed a hole in it. And then a new bird bath sprinkler because um, while I was in Europe, um, it, they apparently didn't fill up the bird bath and it ran itself dry and burned up the motor. So, you know, I got a new one of those. Okay, so I got two things here. This is gonna be for wearing to work, hopefully. It's just kind of like a women's tunic. I love the color. It was reasonably priced. I haven't actually tried it on yet, but I'm hoping. I literally just got it. I love that color. That pretty, like, beautiful eggplanty purpley color. So it's just like a, um, like a tunic, and I would wear it with leggings. And so it's like, I don't want to call it, like, three-quarter sleeve, half sleeve. Not quite a full, like, long sleeve shirt. But, um, yeah, it's super stretchy material. Um, does it, it's supposed to have pockets. It does. I can see them. We have pockets. So it's got pockets, which, you know, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So I love the color. It's just basically like a tunic shirt. So it's so soft, you guys. So soft. Um, I, yeah, it's stretchy, super soft, feels really nice. This is the brand. If I can... It's just, you know, made in China. Um, it says maximum temperature 30 degrees. I think that's Celsius. Don't bleach, iron on low heat, do not tumble dry, hang dry. Um, yeah, Let's see if we can figure out what it's made of. It feels like it's made out of like a rayon or something. I don't even know if I want to be able to, here we go. Yeah, 95% rayon and 5% spandex. So, oh, it's, it feels lovely. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and, okay. And then the last thing is you guys, I actually wasn't looking to get these, but I'm, I'm excited. I've always been looking at this. This are Moissanite earrings. So these were on like a super, super prime lightning deal. And I've always been looking at Moissanite is basically almost like a, um, a created diamond. It's very similar. Um, the diamond is the hardest gemstone. Um, and these, this is the second hardest. It's hard. These are harder than like, you always hear about sapphire. Like a lot of watch faces are made out of like, um, created sapphire because it's very hard. Um, so these are just some stud earrings and it's cute. You know, it has this cute little like jewelry box. It's so funny because then the earrings come in this like plastic bag. 
So these are, this is, I have a link for you guys down below. I think the regular price, this is, these are two carat, meaning each earring is one carat. Um, and I got the silver versus the gold um, plated because I tend to pr prefer more like silver tone jewelry right now. Um, they have these like comfort wear plastic bands. I'm going to try to like show you or plastic backs on them that are supposed to just be really comfortable. You can wear them. Um, but they're just super sparkly. This is what they look like. Let me grab them both. So each one is a carrot. They're, they're meant, they're basically like a simulated diamond. It's called Moissanite. You guys have probably heard of it. Um, these, I think regularly, these are called two carrot, but it's because there's one carrot each on each of these. And, um, I think the regular price on these is usually like 80 or 90 bucks. And I feel like I got these for less than 30, but I've always looked for something like that. I don't want to buy honestly diamond earrings, but like, you know, you always get like the fake crystal, you know, cubic zirconias and eventually they just, they don't look great. It's not a hard material. They chip, you know, if you drop them or anything, but these look pretty. Um, these are going to be worn quite a bit. I'm really excited. I think they're beautiful. It's the second hardest, like I said, from a diamond to a moissanite. They're harder, harder, um, than they say harder on the hardness scale. They're harder than, um, sapphire. So I'm going to just pop them in their box to show you guys. Um, I don't know why they didn't come in the display box, but they didn't. So that's just a little cute, fun thing I got for myself. I had a really good deal on these. Um, yeah, and they had really good reviews. So they had, you could get gold plated or the silver. This is, these are sterling silver, and I, I prefer that. Um, so yeah, that's honestly, other than the bird bath and the bird bath um water fountain thing that has not shown up yet that's all i got uh wasn't looking to do anything crazy i really wanted the boots i absolutely needed the hat because my last hat i took on our trip to europe and uh with all the wind and everything it really didn't survive the trip everything kind of broke on it i had it all pinned together for the like the last three days and so when we were packing to come home i just pitched it i mean it was just it was just destroyed so i needed a good sun hat so really that and the, the boots were absolutely needed i'm so glad i did need the um the hair color i'm so, it was really really good timing because i think i used my last box up the last time i used it i might have one more but um, it was a really good deal on, on the th uh, six pack. So I don't know. What'd you guys buy? Let me know what you bought. I will link Like I said, everything down below in my Amazon. Um, I'll link my Amazon shop and then I'll individually link all the products that I bought. You guys, if you're interested in taking a look at them again, it's affiliate links, but you guys, it doesn't cost you anything. It's a great way to support the channel. Um, out of a regular shopping habit, it's not going to cost you anything extra. That's the best part about it, you know, and it does help support the channel, which I really appreciate. So, um, we need to pick a winner for last week's Mask Monday Ladies giveaway. Now, remember with last week's video, I added in, um, kind of a new, um, part of rule for the giveaway is, you, um, whoever wins can't have one within the last 30 days. Honestly, we haven't really come up on that too much, but I figured, uh, it was a good thing to do. Um, so we need to get pick that winner, which we'll do shortly, but let's do, um, we're going to do the giveaway for this week. And, um, the rules again are down below in the description, just like they always are. Um, the winner will be picked after 6 PM on Sunday night. Um, next Sunday night, you need to be an adult 18 years of age or older, publicly subscribe to my channel. Um, and all the information is down below. Please give this video a like, um, and in order to get entered, you're going to need to leave a comment with a special word because that word will be how I will pick um, using the comment picker. That'll be how um, we pick the winner. So if you don't want to enter, feel please do leave a comment down below. Um, you won't be entered if you don't use the word, okay? And I think, um, let's see here. I did go birding this weekend and we saw um, nothing too spectacular. Um Went looking tonight for a swallow-tailed kite, and we just never found it, unfortunately. Um, so I did see a lot of swallow-tailed butterflies. Hmm, should we use that word? That's kind of a really tough word to use. <laughs> we did see a Caspian tern, uh, but that's also hard to use in a comment. So that's not <laughs> really fair to you guys either. 
Um, we have had some rain, which has been really great. I'm just kind of trying to find something fun that you guys can use for a word for um, entering the giveaway. Let's see here. Oh, let's just use butterfly, right? I, we saw a ton of butterfly this weekend. It is a great time of year to see butterflies. I saw like tons of butterflies and moths and stuff. So let's use butterfly. Now you need to use it in a sentence format. So that's going to be our word for this week. If you want to get entered, make sure you read the rules and that you qualify down below. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, leave a comment with that word in there and hopefully the comment picker will find you. So, uh, that's all I got guys. Um, don't go anywhere. We need to pick our winner for last week. So I'm going to sign off now. Let's go to the comment picker. Have a great week, guys. I'm just going to leave this on a little bit longer. And like I said, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to try to get two uses out of it. I feel like there's still some serum in here. So I like this mask. It feels really good. Um, it has a light scent, but it's nothing overpowering. You just kind of sort of got a scent of it putting it on. So I recommend Tony Moly sheet masks if you can find them, guys. Um, okay. Hang tight, guys. All right, guys, we are here at the comment picker. Um, I'll tell you, I had somebody that I picked as a winner. Could not find my spouse, myself um, on their on their channel. They, they're not showing up as subscribed to me uh, in YouTube. And I was not showing up on their list of channels they were subscribed to, uh, which is sad. I am, you guys, you need to be subscribed to me um, in order to win. So we're gonna do this again and Basically, the word um, you need to use in your comment was crane. So we need to find a, the first comment the picker finds with the word crane in it. And then verify that person is publicly subscribed. You have to be subscribed to my channel to win. Um, and you guys, I I know you guys have, have heard me mention it before. Uh, sometimes I get here and I have to delete the video and start over because I find a winner and they are not subscribed. And I spend like 10 minutes trying to figure out if they're subscribed or not. And uh, I hate that. I hate it when that doesn't work out that somebody, you know, can win. So just double check your subscribe, guys. Um, so here we go. We're going to we're going to see there were okay there were 40 comments and again whatever the comment picker picks uh have to have the word crane in the comment so good luck everyone miss Irleen, happy mask monday congratulations to the winner i've only seen a live crane once okay so she's got the word crane in there i'm gonna jump over to her channel verify she is subscribed hang on guys all right, everybody, um, right kind of in the middle here towards the top. I'm moving the cursor around. So, Miss Erlene, you are my winner. Please uh, do send me an email within 48 hours. Uh, use my channel email, opinionatedhorsewoman at gmail.com. Please email me. Let me know you saw this, that you're a winner. And, of course, I need your U.S. mail address to send it out to you. If you would like to include a cell phone, I can put that in the tracking for text messaging or whatever. But usually most people just drop me an email with your, uh, like I said, your mailing address. So congratulations. And uh, thanks, everybody, for checking in and make sure you get entered for this week and uh, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.